You've been following along. I've been watching uh, The Crown starting over at the beginning and kind of digesting episode by episode what's going on. And as we get up to, towards the tail end of season one, uh, we get to this episode eight called Pride and Joy. And really what Pride and Joy represent are uh, the, the queen and her sister. Um, and the queen and her sister kind of a, a war with one another would be a good way to put it. Uh, the, the, the the princess craves the spotlight. The queen doesn't really like it. She wants to just kind of you know, be herself. Uh, but it, it gets into a, an interesting kind of philosophical discussion that uh, is the crown or, or is the leadership, the, such as the, the queen, are, are they people or are they symbols? And if you don't view them as symbols, if you don't view them as sort of larger than life, do they really have any power? Do they have any effectiveness? So you get the old guard in the form of Winston Churchill kind of admonishing the princess for going out and kind of being herself and uh, saying, no, no, you can't do that. You can't lift the curtain. You can't let people look behind and, and see what the magic really is. You have to be a symbol. You can't be a human. And the reason he does that is Princess Margaret is out taking over some duties for the queen because the queen went on a world tour uh, which now can be done quickly, but then took 26 weeks um, for her to do. And so, you know, half a year. Uh, so the princess was doing some ceremonial duties, but along with that came a lot of press, and, and the princess kind of went off script and, and started being herself. And as a result, the press coverage got really good. Well, of course, because it's not what you expect, right? It's not the princess gave this boring speech and said thank you to 12 ambassadors. You know, the princess came out and gave a speech and kind of ripped on her brother-in-law, you know, the queen's husband. Uh, a little bit. So it, it's kind of interesting to watch the family at war and, and try to get to that answer, that philosophical question of is is a large leadership role like this um, a symbol or is it something that's just done by a person? Uh, and if you think of the United States today or around the world, um, the veils kind of come off a lot of things, right? We've got a lot of access to people that we didn't have even 50, 60 years ago, thanks to social media and 200 news stations you, know, you get a lot of, of things you don't see it's really harder to keep that sort of curtain blocking things um and uh maybe it's better to have that curtain maybe it's not i don't think it's good uh but it's kind of gotten lately where you know because that that veil of mystery has been lifted uh where um any little tiny thing somebody says is dissected right it's like oh my god he said this that means you know let me go make my political point over here uh, to the point where CEOs and companies, you know, if they breathe the wrong word, are now like, oh, we got to boycott the company. Well, okay, he just said something. Maybe he spoke out of turn, whatever. And I'm not defending any particular CEO. But it, it lends itself to an interesting question of the people in these positions are just people. They're not symbols. They're not larger than life. They're not, um, maybe they are special in one way or another, but, you know, it, they're not, um, uh, anything hugely out of the ordinary they they're just you know people uh and not uh some some large mystery so I find it interesting that that this particular one was was uh kind of done the way it was because the queen was very good at the symbolic stuff and kind of staying hidden and not not coming out and speaking out and not really being herself publicly and the princess went a whole different way uh and as a result everybody loved the princess and the queen was kind of getting upset that the press coverage was better of her sister than of her uh, so it uh, makes you think a little bit about, about uh, how the world has really changed from 200 years ago versus today. Everybody have a great weekend.